good morning hi what's up hmm I don't look too presentable right now um give me a second okay <sighs> that's better ah oh that's hmm interesting things good morning everybody it is 10 7 a.m yeah 10 7 and i woke up about an hour ago and it's saturday may 21st <coughs> um hi guys what's up sheree here sorry uh it's a very interesting day i'm just like okay so situation I got less than six hours of sleep last night because I was posting a video. Yeah, my Inchon video, if you haven't checked it out. I put a lot of work into that, so it's up here somewhere. Um, so I posted that on last night at like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Called a friend until like 3 a.m. and then finally got ready for bed and went to bed. And I woke up early this morning because I have a hair appointment today. Um, which obviously my hair needs it. I'm actually gonna go get a straightening treatment from my girl Su Jung, my hairstylist. She is literally the best, so I'm really excited to go back there. Get a straightening treatment done, just get my hair done because I just feel like it needs it. My hair is dying and it wants help. Like these bangs too, I'm just like, bruh. Is that better? Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm like not feeling my best this morning, to be honest. I'm just feeling pretty um, tired and headachey. Actually, I'm gonna take some headache medicine before I head out. Um, so yeah, I just like don't feel the best today, but I wanna vlog the day because this is just gonna be like a chill, well, I think chill, like weekend vibes in Seoul sort of video because like, because I've been posting all this content about like all my traveling, all my good times, da 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 da, which definitely is like so much fun and it's definitely real. Like what I film, it's super fun and I'm super grateful that I get the opportunity to go travel and do stuff. But I also sometimes want to take y'all back to reality and be like, this is the life of me living in Korea, the other side that I don't usually make videos about nowadays. I know some of you guys are like, oh, it's okay, Shree, you don't need to show like the good and the bad, like it's fine. You can just show like the good, the good parts on YouTube, but no, that's not my, that is, that is not my uh, vibe. I like to show the good and the bad and how I find joy in the good and the bad. It's not that today's bad, it's just it's more uh, realistic and I wanna be able to show you guys that like I'm not just a girl who travels every weekend and films this great content. Um, I'm also a girl who is an English teacher in Korea and is trying to handle a lot at one time, which is very fun, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is such a weird intro. This is like my life right now. I'm also like PMSing, and if you guys know me, my PMS is like not great. Like it really affects my emotions and my body and stuff like that. So today will be me dealing with that, getting my hair done. I'm also meeting a subscriber later, so that'll be interesting with my state of mind. Um, but yeah, just me just chilling in Seoul where I teach English, so um, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this video. I'm sorry for the weird intro, but I do need to get going um, to catch my subway so that I can make it to my hair appointment on time. My hair appointment's at 11. I haven't eaten anything yet. My stomach is like so hungry right now. So yeah, this is my life. Like this is what's going on. But this is like the, the what you don't always see or what a lot of influencers don't necessarily show. <laughs> this is what I try to show to show you that we all in this together, man. We all have highs and we all have like lows and then we all have like the middle, the middle points. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm a bit sleep deprived. We're just gonna go to my hair appointment. How about that? And we're gonna get my hair done and it's gonna be a good time. I'm really excited. This is like my favorite form of self care. And I have been like not talking nicely to myself recently. So I do need a little self care and a little pampering. Um, and I think I'll feel better. So yeah, let's get going to my hairstylist. Let's go see Soo Jung. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ow. And, and welcome, welcome to the vlog. Hope I hope it's a good one for you. Oh, if you wanna be so some crazy, I got so lazy. Hey, you should meet me and my friends, even though we got no money. Okay. For sure, it's so funny. Yeah, everything's better with them. We're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We don't worry about tomorrow. We just ooh, ooh, ooh. What we wanna do tonight? Waking up at sundown, the world's our playground And we don't even have to pretend Every time we're together, it doesn't get better And every day's like a weekend, we're just like Ooh, 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 we don't worry about tomorrow We just ooh, 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 what we wanna do tonight So don't tell me how to act or how we should be All we 
you okay? Uh, okay. Okay. Not as straight. Yeah. Uh, but carotene is better for my hair, right? <laughs> so let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> as usual, I trust you. <laughs> You may think that I know too much, but now it's never too much. Guys, we forgot to take a before picture. <laughs> so we won't have a before, we just have this. This is the before. And we're gonna get straight swing treatment and we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. This is what it looks like now. Let's see what it's like after. I'm doing something different Your name's been on my tongue My cup's been looking for her You're picking by my walls And baby, it's out of love Cause lately the world's been going crazy And I gon' need somebody to We have another camera <laughs> This place has become a set <laughs> Queen, my squeeze at night, who opens up this package is too tight. Oh, whoa, uh, and know you got it like that. Bring it on back, cause you got it like that. So, yeah, and I was thinking, cause I was thinking, okay, if we're gonna go to Busan, uh, we, uh, as I was thinking, like, cause I still want to take you to Guangzhou, which is like one of my favorite cities outside of Seoul. And Guangzhou is like halfway to Busan, so I'm like, we should probably just like go to Guangzhou for like a day or something, and then that night, take the train to Busan. And then just like spend the night and then the next day like explore for or Oh, there's like a, apparently like there's a war museum here in Seoul, which I think could be, a lot of people recommended it on Instagram. So I think that could be interesting to I've never been to it. This is insane. Like this is this is literally insane. It feels so soft and so healthy. My mind is blown right now. And when did I become blonde? Like what when did this happen? What is life? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> On my brain, but got it good. Can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind, and time's hard to find. What's a girl gotta do to catch a break? Oh, when life tries to test me. on today I don't care what you say and I'm ignoring my phone so don't try to reach me 
I can't do nothing for you So don't ask, I ain't coming through Cause I'm running away to my own world That's where I'm Probably gone. People are staring, so I will talk to you later. I'm gonna catch the bus right home. <laughs> yeah, gonna catch the bus home. <laughs> we'll talk to you when I go. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Hi guys, I'm home now, and I'm so tired. If you if you didn't get that, um, I am exhausted. <laughs> But it's because, you know, I haven't eaten, like, anything today. And that thing at the cafe wasn't even good. I was, like, so disappointed by the pastry. I spent, like, $7 on it. I, um, no, so I, like, I didn't eat, like, honestly, all I've eaten today is, like, a rice cake. And whatever was at the cafe. And it's 7.30. So, yeah. So, I am gonna go grocery shopping for some food and then I'm gonna make dinner and then we can talk about life. How does that sound, friends? But yeah, my hair, loving it, loving it so much. I'm so happy about it. I don't know if like the eyebrow situation looks weird cause like I have brown eyebrows, but now I have my hair is like blondish. I don't know, you tell me in the comments, you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to a market nearby and get a few groceries and then come home and yeah, I'm sleepy, so I'm just gonna do that and I'll get back to you when I'm a bit more revived, hopefully. Give me a second, okay? I'll be back soon, okay. Three, two, one, go. Back, I am all back, all back from the store. I'm tired. I literally went to a place that's like right across the street from me. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna do a little grocery haul haven't really talked to you guys like this for a while, so let's do a little grocery haul. The first thing that I got was this pineapple. Next we have some broccoli, some bubbly water because I love this stuff so much. Corn silk tea or oksusu suyum cha. Corn silk tea. Love this stuff too. We have some lemons. We have some cabbage. 
we have some tomatoes. I also got this. It's basically just porridge, chicken and ginseng porridge. It just sounded good. We've also got some kimchi mandu. We have some baby bok choy. Oh, it's this stuff. I don't know what to call it, but it's really good. I like it. And then we also have some ramen. And this is what I'm going to be eating tonight. I am just craving it. I craved it last night and then I ate healthy. So tonight I'm like, we're going to eat it. We're going to eat it. Um, as well as some veggies. So that's what I'm going to make for dinner. To be honest, today my vibes have been at a pretty like very neutral, more like down vibe than usual. But but I think it's important for us to realize that, you know, like not every day is gonna be like the highest day ever. And, and not every day is gonna, you're just gonna be like super duper happy all the time. Even when you're doing like really fun stuff. Like my hair, I love it. I'm so happy with it. But Again, like I'm just tired. I'm getting my period soon. I don't feel physically that well. I haven't eaten a lot. It's so, like, it makes sense why my mood's just kind of low and I'm just vibing with, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna eat though. And I think that will help me feel a lot better. Trust me, food is like, it's like life to me. Like it gives me so much energy, so. But honestly, like I'm just really tired right now. And today like it was good, but I wasn't as happy as I feel like I could have been. I don't know. It's like some days I'm happier than others, you know, and that's, that's fine. That is a okay. What I'm worried about though is I feel like I lost my my case for my headphones. I can't find it. So that's a struggle, but hopefully I'll find it. I hope so. If not, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, let's make some food and eat now. <laughs> I think I need it. actually did lose my uh, headphone case for my AirPods. So I, well, I hated myself for a second. Then I laughed at myself for a second about the absurdity of the situation. And now I'm actually gonna go to Artbox and get some. Late night adventure with Cherie. <laughs> I did not plan this, but I'm, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go buy some new headphones because I'm an idiot. No, it's okay, we all make mistakes. We're fine. I'm not an idiot, I'm great. We're just gonna go get some headphones. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up? Let me tell you how 
my walk home went, it was quite an eventful walk. You know, sometimes I just wonder like, Sharia, what the heck is your life? So, I get my headphones, it's great, I decide to walk home, cool. Um, first, oh, my battery is dying. Of course, of course it is. Oh. Just a quick disclaimer before I get into my story. I am not hating on Korea. You guys know how much I love Korea. Korea is amazing and it's fantastic. I was just having a bad walk home. So let me explain why, okay? So, um, first of all, uh, you know, I go on, on Neighbor and like get my directions and stuff like that. And first it has me leading off of like the, the main road into like an alleyway, you know, where, there, where there's like, like bars and clubs and norebang and stuff like that. And then I pass through these, this group of guys and they just like stare at me suggestively and I'm like, can you please stop? And I just keep going. And then neighbor has me continuing down an alleyway. I'm like, heck no, I'm not gonna do this. So I go back to the main street, start walking, you know, on my way. And then I need to like cross the street and I'm about to cross. There are these two guys who are like passing me and they say, oh, hello. All like teasing, trying to like flirt. Make, I, I don't even know what it was, but I was just like not having it. And I was just like, no. And I like just crossed the street. Thankfully, like the light changed and I was able to cross. And they were just like looking back at me. It was weird. Oh, by this point, I had turned on the Uncanny Counter OST. I mean, I'm wearing my Uncanny Counter pants. So I was like, gotta tap into my inner Dohana. Yeah, she's, she's a character in the Uncanny Counter. If you didn't know. And so here I am trying to make the best out of my situation, you know, listening to the Uncanny Counter OST, like going along, you know, it's a good time. That's what I was listening to was, this is only part of it. And then we have like the Dohana theme. And this is what I was listening to on the way home. <laughs> it was late at night, I was like, my, might as well daydream or whatever about being a counter. Mm -hmm. Next thing, I, I'm lost in my thoughts. This is my fault, okay, my fault. I'm lost in my thoughts. I'm crossing like a, it's like a street that, le that passes like an apartment complex so cars can like turn in. I didn't even realize that I was walking during a red light. And so a car was like coming slowly and I was like, oh shoot, backtrack. And I look and I'm like, I almost crossed a red light and almost got like hit by a car. Good job, Sheree, good job. So I keep going and I'm crossing another street. This time I was, in, I was not in the wrong here because a moped guy just comes out of nowhere screeching through and it almost hit me. And I was like, bruh, I was fine walking. Like, honestly, I was not in the wrong here. It was this guy on his freaking moped. You know, I don't blame him. Maybe he had a delivery to do or something, but I literally had just almost gotten myself hit by a car. I mean, it wouldn't have been a big hit because the car was being slow, but you know. You know, I like almost ran, walked through a red light. And then like literally a minute after this happens and I'm like, what is going on with my day? And at this point, my phone is at like 5%. And I'm just like, what is going on? What the heck is my life? Um, and then a few of my friends were messaging me different things <laughs> and they were all kind of like not good things too. And I was just like, what is happening to my life right now? So I go to a convenience store and I just like get some food for tomorrow. And the convenience store Ajashi was nice. It, it was a different Ajashi, he was nice. I'm telling you, convenience store Ajashi's are the nicest guys ever. Um, anyways, so that, that was redeemable. <laughs> and then I came home and here I am. Yeah. In all reality, this is what a typical day in my life looks like. To be completely honest. <laughs> Me feeling not great sometimes, meeting up with a friend, being in a pretty area, <laughs> spending too much money, <laughs> and then freaking leaving my charging for my headphones on the bus, I honestly, like, I was really upset at myself for a little bit when I thought about that. Um, but you know, there's nothing I can do except learn from my mistake, you know, and thankfully I am financially able enough to just like get a new pair and stuff like that. My finances are good, so it wasn't a big deal. It was okay. So, I mean, I was quite upset at myself about that. Um, but you know, it happens and we need to be kind to ourselves. 
One time my sister left her iPad on the plane, so that makes me feel better. Uh, some of you guys might be watching this and be like, Sheree, you're a mess. And I'm like, no, I'm not a mess. This is just kind of my everyday life. And honestly, I should end the video here. <laughs> this is like, honestly, a day in my life. There's so many ups and downs, truly. It's not just all amazing and all great all the time. I'm getting my hair done today. That was amazing. Um, the area that I went to, Song Songpa. I think that's the name of it. That was amazing. That was so good. But then like I had a headache today. I didn't sleep a lot last night at all. Had this experience tonight. Left my stuff on the bus. Like all this stuff happens. Um, but honestly, I'm still super grateful to be here in Korea. Like life is crazy and I make mistakes and crazy things happen. But honestly, like this is, this is life. And you know, I'm happy to be experiencing it here in Korea. To be honest, I am. So that, there you go. This vlog ended up being a lot more realistic than I th originally thought it would be. But yeah, wow, I'm kind of, I don't think this will be edited as pretty as my other videos, but I hope that it is equally as entertaining and that you learned a lot more about just what my day to day looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you like my hair in the comments below. I really like it. I think it looks great. I'm like super happy with it. I will have my hairstylist info in the description below if you wanna check her out. Soo Jung is the best. I love her so much. And I trust her with my hair, with anything. Like she's amazing. So yeah, how to book appointments with her will be in the description. Her like actual like website will be in the description for her salon. So like, yeah, go check it out. She's amazing. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna get going. I'm probably gonna finish watching Pride and Prejudice. Ah, the reason I'm watching Pride and Prejudice, by the way, is because last night when I was uploading my video, I just decided, I didn't wanna listen to music anymore while I was updating it. So I was like, okay. And then I get on Netflix and I see there's Pride and Prejudice. I was like, eh, okay, why not? Um, and funny story, I used to hate Mr. Darcy growing up, honestly, up until like recently. I just hated him. I was like, he's such a dull, bland, boring character. I don't know why everybody loves him so much. But I don't know, I feel like now that I'm like 25, there's something about the age 25 or something, but I'm like, wow, I kind of, I kind of like Mr. Darcy. And that is like mind blowing. I told my friend Lily that last night and she was like shocked because she knows me. She knows how much I don't like Mr. Darcy. But I was like, no, he's actually not that bad. He's, I kind of like him, so. <laughs> wow, I'm evolving. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I just see you as a friend, I guess. Hello friend, how are you? I'm so weird. Uh, okay guys. All right guys, I'm gonna go rest up. Well, I'm gonna finish watching Pride and Prejudice and then rest up and have a good day tomorrow going to church and preparing for the week. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you did. Be sure to thumbs it up if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and you can always press the notification button so you can be notified every time I post a new video. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you soon with another video. Bye. Oh, hey.